Good evening guys, we're out on the bank again. Got another uh, 48 hour session, hopefully you're gonna stay for 48 hours this time. Um, got a bit of company with me this time, got the old dog dog with me, so we can keep company warm in the evenings. Um, we're in Horden Bridge this time. I've had a quick wander around. I'm not seeing fish shows. There's been a couple of fish come out at the top end of the lake. I've cast my deep around in like the four swim from where I am up and down and seen some small shoals of fish on there not much one or two images and some shoals so hopefully we'll be in the right area if not then well we can always move if need be but i'm i'm feeling reasonably confident after seeing a couple of fish and um yeah the water temperature's in double figures it's 10 degrees and um, it's 13 degrees out today and uh, i've got my bivy set up because it's going to be getting dark soon and I can get the dog in there, he can have a little snooze while I'm setting up the rods. And um, yeah, so the plan is, I will show you. So we've got a tree there. I'm going to put a bait on the edge of the tree there. Then over there, where basically the flat water meets the crease water. I'm going to stick a zig out there, it's about six feet. I'm going to stick around about a four foot zig. So that's where I've seen fish cruising around about two feet from the surface and then we've got the island there we've got a little bay there I can get so that's the plan for the rods this evening it's going to possibly rain a bit later so I want to get everything on these setting up and staying dry dry the bivy is still a bit wet from the other day, even though I had it in the shed with the heater on for the last four days. Um, it didn't really dry out because of the creases, and it's quite a small shed it's in, so it didn't dry out too much. But hopefully, it's dry enough now, and the ground sheet should dry out pretty quickly. We've got some good drains in these swims, so we shouldn't get flooded and muddy. So we should be good. I think there's six of us on the water tonight. See what happens. Okay, so the first rod is ready to go. Fishing a four foot zig in about six to seven feet of water. And um, white zig foam. We've got a bunch of maggots on that. So I'm going to get that out now. And uh, see if we can get a bite on that. Got my last remaining PVA bag, so I'm going to shove that on there and get that out. There we go. Boom. It's ready to cast out. Okay, see, it's pretty dark out there now. Pretty dark. I've still got one rod to go. Right, on the other rod, doing exactly the same as did at the last place, which I had a nine pound tent on. <coughs> and uh, yeah, a bunch of maggots, small 12 mil fruit and nut, Parker Bates, pop up boily, tie that to the stringer. And jobs are good in, so we'll do that now. I've got some maggot there and loads of hemp, with some garlic and hemp oil, and a few broken up boilies and other bits of stuff in there. Okay, so we've got the hemp in there, maggots, and it's topped off with some 
fruit and nut, magic dust, some fruit and nut sauce to help me see put my rig out. I've put a little starlight on there. So we'll get that out now and hopefully have a bite. Alright, we've got a nosser in the net. Look at that. I thought it was a tent coming in, it just came in. It was a weird take, it's, um, same sort of take as what I had before. It just beeped a couple of times and then beeped a couple of times again. And last time I didn't uh, go for it because I thought it was just playing with it. And then when I did reel in, it was in snags. So let's get this thing in and uh, have a look. Let's get a wade and uh, we'll get her back in the net. First winter carp. Right, we've got 18 pound minus whatever the sling is, which we'll sort out later. Let's get her. Get her back now. I'll be coming. Right, there you go, guys. First fish of a winter session. Um, great. Um, it's just after eleven o'clock. So that one came from the PVA bag rig. Just a couple of little beeps, like beep beep, beep beep, beep beep. That's exactly how the first take was, but I didn't bother that. I thought it was just a little fish playing with it because I thought it was the zig with the maggots on the end. And I really realised it wasn't. And by that time it was too late. It stopped. Then when I reeled in, it slowed me up and I snapped the line. Um, but yeah. yeah, I've got that one in. Around about 17, 16 and a half, 17 when I woke up what the sling weighs in the morning. Um, Common, lovely. There's a load of comms in this lake, very few mirrors. Although I have had a mirror up to about 20. But yeah, I've got to cast the rod back out in the PVA bag. If I can enchant it, hopefully it's gone back in the same area. Because I've cast out in the dark, so I didn't see where it went. But I heard a splash, I know it's in the water. So yeah, that's the update. Um, if I get another fish, I'll check back in with you again. If not, we'll check back in in the morning. Right, it's one in the morning. And we have another common in the net. It's a bit angry this one, I think it's smaller than the other one. But he's angrier, that's for sure. So let's get him out. And uh, take a look at him. One is a, a lot nicer to fix this one is. I reckon this is going to go 20. There, lovely. I'm getting weighed. I'm getting weighed. Let's get some nice pictures of him. Right, now quick update. Just after one in the morning, and we've had another common. This one, um, a 20. It was 22 pound, five ounces. Less to sling, so I'll say around about 20, 21 pound. So yeah, Noodle gets really excited when I get a fish. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's good. Um, also, you saw the footage. So yeah, here's to the next one. Morning, everyone. Uh, no more fish last night, just the two. Um, I did get a lot of sleep because the uh, fish from that way they spread apart. It's came at sleep about three o'clock this morning. It's about <coughs> stuff to 11 o'clock now to make myself recce. Might be the kettle in, boiling in the background. We've recast the Zig and we've recast the PVA bag rig out, and I'm going to boot the bait and spoon one in a minute. So, yeah, 
I'll see you up day for the morning. So I'm just going to have breakfast now and then get the other rod back out and then chill out and read a book. cast out to my <coughs> margin spot and have a look see what it's like there looking for GPS still GPS found Spots about there. So we're in eight foot of water. <coughs> it's pretty clear. Like hard bottom, a little bit of maybe debris on there. You see it's pretty pretty good bottom there, flat. Eight feet of water. reconnecting <coughs> wait for the GPS signal to come in it's already come towards me because we've got a bit of tow wind bringing it this way there we go GPS found Pretty hard bottom there because we've got the double sonar return, which normally means it's a hard bottom. Six foot of water. And that's probably three to four wraps out. Six 
six foot of water. Getting really high fire, getting the double return there. Okay guys, something really weird has just happened. Uh, my mic rod, which I recast back out, probably about 60, 70 yards out, I had two beeps on it, and nothing, and another beep. So I went out to it and saw the rod tip bent round to the right. I started reeling it in, and it was right in the margin, under the trees in the snag on the right hand side. That's weird. Literally, it, the fish picked up the bait, brought it into the margin, under the trees, without any indication at all on the alarm, until it started pulling it around. It snapped the hook link anyway, so I've got to redo the hook, and um, yeah, get it back out. But that, that's really weird. So, no fish lost, but proof show that my deeper was right, there's fish out there, I hooked one. Let's get out again and try again. Right, we've got another one. They all seem to be coming in the dark this session. Pretty small one, this one. Huge one this time. But still quite nice. Get some pictures. Right, so we'll weigh it. Just beat some weight. Get her back. Now I know the net weighs two pounds. Go yeah, 15 pounds 10, minus 2 pounds, 13 pounds 10 ounces. Right, so uh, get her back in. to the deep. Alright guys, evening update. <coughs> doing something GoPro this time. Doing a cup of tea. About 8 o'clock at night. Um, I don't know what time it is. Oh, almost 9 o'clock at night. I've recast two of the three rods. Um, uh, they've been done. New PVA bag on the right rod. I've recast the Zeke Rig out, I've dipped it in Magic Dust and the sauce and gone back out there. I'm leaving the left hand rod out where it was because um, that was freshly baited recently so it should be good to the morning anyway. 
hopefully, if I get some run strong night this time, I will be able to get that on camera for you. So I've set the camera rig up and moved the light to where I should be playing the fish. So hopefully we should get a fish. <coughs> if you don't see me playing the fish, and I do get fish, you obviously will see it in the net. So yeah, that's the evening update. I'm going to make a cup of tea, get into the old sleeping bag, veg out for a couple of hours, and then get some snoozy snoozy nap nap time hopefully. And uh, maybe get on some more big fish. So, catch you back later. It's made. Right, fish number four. This one. It's a little baby mirror carp. This is the strongest take yet. He just absolutely hammered it. Just went flying off. Minus two pounds for the sling. Ten pound, ten pounds, six ounces. 